TGI Fairy Friday. It's Robin here, guys, welcome. Uh, so it's time for a daily spirit message reading. This is for Friday, February 16th. And I have somebody coming through pretty strongly um, who out there has German ancestry. I have somebody saying, uh, Guten Tag, my Liebchen. So I oh, just got goosebumps when I said that. So I really do see somebody Like this is really specific. So this is very rare that this happens to me. I usually just get a group of my team in spirit, but I guess somebody pre-war, World War One. okay? So uh, maybe they they signed letters that way or, you know, something like that, but let me know. And I'm just gonna kick off the reading now because I don't want this to turn into a private reading for somebody I don't even know who they are. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. Thanks for your patience while I went through that because it, somebody really needed to speak. So we have the two of autumn and there's a lot going on here. This is like, like just like busting out. You can see this little fairy like just leading the charge in something. Um, and it says to bring fun into everything you do. And I got that song, stop right there. Sorry, I'm out of tune juggling multiple priorities or jobs and an exceptional task uh exceptional talent for multitasking so bring fun into everything that you do let's look at that because i think that's something that um we get trained out of us as we grow into deeper maturity so um and that's something like I'm really goofy and for me to try to find a workplace that respects that, it was really hard because I see funny in almost every single situation. I'm always like snickering my way through meetings, you know, <laughs> because it's ridiculous. But anyway, so is there something in your life? And I, I'm getting a movie recommendation from my spirit guides here try watching Groundhog Day. If you feel like ugh, every day is just a snooze fest, why would I be fun? Why would I be funny? Why would I be entertaining? Why would I have a good time at this? You know, you can do the same thing over and over again as it just depends on the way that you're approaching it. Like if you're going to be a troll about it, like snarling and like, maybe just go back to the bell tower and save us all. <laughs> <laughs> the hassle of having to deal with you. I'm just going to write something down, okay? So maybe it's time to pull another card. So this is from the um, Crystal Vision Tarot. So I have got the Ace of Swords here. So I feel like, jeez, oh, I feel like you're being to some extent suppressed or repressed, like hiding part of your true personality. And... Archangel Michael really wants to protect you and guide you into circles of friends or maybe even finding a new job or a new neighborhood that accepts you. You can be, and I I love the, the wildly funny senses of humor that you guys have in your comments and your observations and stuff like that. And you guys are like following my channel for a reason, right? Because there's like a kindred spirit. So I know that there is like this deep sort of um, love of life and love of joy, joyousness. And I feel like there's people in your life that are, are looking down their nose at you. Maybe you're not corporate enough. You know, maybe you're not straight laced enough. Maybe you're not boring enough for some people in your life, but who cares? Okay. You like, this is, this is your one shot. And I'm going to start singing an Eminem song. I'm not, <laughs> you know, so take your shot. You know what I mean? And just step into the unknown. I love this card in this deck. It's, and I think that's what a lot of people are afraid of. Like, well, you know, if I express myself and let me know in the comments, if you ever hold yourself back from saying something because you're afraid of judgment or you're afraid of getting like a scorching look, and I know a lot of people are still really restrained around their parents, even at whatever age they are, or even from their friends and sometimes even their partner, angel number 444. But, you know, <clears throat> being able to express yourself and being able to just be who you are with no filters 
is like the one, like it's a free pleasure, right? And if people don't accept you for that, then that is the universe's way of like selectively removing people that no longer match your vibration. So <clears throat> if you're holding yourself back, then you're never going to attract that funny, goofy, weird tribe that you're meant to be a part of. Um, and I consider you guys my my tribe and you know, I love you guys lots. And so I'm gonna leave this and I will see you back here for Catterday. <laughs> Bye.